What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so for today's video, I have another huge empty for you guys because as usual, I waited way too long to film this video. So I have them stacking up and stacking up and stacking up all these empties and I need to throw them out. So I have so many products to show you guys. Let's just dive right into it. I'm just gonna put this giant tub right here and I also have two more bags next to this so we have a lot to talk about <laughs> obviously so the first thing I went through is a Bath and Body Works foaming hand soap this one is in the scent watermelon lemonade this one was delicious I loved it it was it's perfect for summer and I love the cute packaging and how pink it is I put this in my girl's bathroom. Next, we have another foaming hand soap from Bath & Body Works. This one is strawberry pound cake. And I mean, I think everyone knows what this smells like at this point. It smells like a delicious strawberry pound cake. It literally smells exactly like all of the other body care items and um, wallflowers. Delicious, I would definitely repurchase that one. Next, we have another foaming hand soap from Bath & Body Works. This one is peach bellini, and this one is amazing. Um, I actually, have this um, candle burning right now downstairs and I love this scent it's super summery this packaging though like it's not cute at all I don't know I don't really love it when they have like a ton of stuff going on I like simple and just like one color or like maybe a couple colors or like maybe some cute flowers I mean I get it it's a peach but like it's not very cute next we have another hand soap and this one is mango Mai Tai this is the gel formula this is one of my favorite scents from Bath & Body Works. Um, I have the body care, and this is actually my favorite candle that they do in the summertime, but they did not come out with the big one this year, unless I missed it. But all I saw was the single wick, and I'm not a fan of those. Um, but this one is a delicious, juicy, fruity summer hand soap. All right, obviously we go through some hand soaps. This one is also from Bath & Body Works, and this one is Blueberry Bellini, and this one is one of my favorite. It reminds me of like childhood blueberry bubble gum. Um, every time I smell it, it reminds me of that and I love it. They had this in different packaging last year and I bought like six of them because they were amazing and it matches our bathroom downstairs so it works out perfect. Next I have a perfume empty and this one is Ariana Grande's God is a Woman and this one is one of my favorite scents. It's so juicy. It's like a juicy woody pear but... Um, I literally like went through this so fast. Um, I have uh, the bigger bottle of this, um, but the scent does not last. If you love this scent, I recommend getting the um, body lotion and the body oil, which they have at Ulta, and I have those two and they smell amazing. Bath & Body Works actually came out with a dupe for this. Um, I think it was in the spring or was it summer? I think it was like the beginning of summer and it's Emerald Mist. That one smells almost identical to this. So if you have this perfume and you want it to last longer, use that lotion or body cream and um, layer it with this but this one is just so it's so easy and fresh and girly and delicious it kind of has like a pear marshmallow like woodsy scent to it but i love it so much it's so good next i have a collagen supplement that i went through this one i get at costco and it is the true nature healthy skin varicel collagen um, I'm not too picky about my collagens. I usually buy them at Costco so I can get them in bulk because I take them every day. Um, I'm not getting any younger, so I just gotta keep my skin young. The next thing I went through is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream, and this is the old formula. This used to be my ride or die. Used it for years, I wanna say like six years, and then they changed the formula. So I will not be purchasing it again. I accidentally bought the new formula, didn't know they changed it, and I hated it. Good friends actually found this at Ross and um, at a discounted price, so she picked it up for me because she knows I love it, but I'm just gonna let it go at this point. I have other moisturizers that I love. I'm just really sad that they changed it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I don't understand why cosmetic companies and skincare companies have to change formulas into something completely different so not happy about that um but she was good while she lasted next i have a nivea body cream that i went through this one is oil infused vanilla with almond oil and um this i love nivea it's like my absolute favorite like regular body lotion they're so nourishing and like <clears throat> they always leave like a nice sheen on your skin and this one says vanilla but it definitely does not smell like vanilla 
It just smells really like kind of just fresh and cozy. I don't really know how to describe it. It just smells like a good lotion. Um, but I definitely would buy this again. Next, we went through an Aussie three minute miracle uh, conditioner. I use these on my girls, um, mostly my two year old. Um, they work great, super affordable. I think it's like $3, so I would buy again. Another curly hair product for my kids, and this one is the Aussie Miracle Curls Curl Refresher. I use this on my six year old's hair. This stuff is amazing. It's like a spray gel, but it like brings the curls back to life. So you dampen the hair first and then you put this on. Um, I hate this like this part of it, but I actually like twisted off another um, spray bottle pump when I use it. Um, I mean, your hands are slippery when you're doing hair. So why were they thinking that this would be a good idea? Anyway, the product's amazing and it's super cheap. So I will definitely probably always have this in our rotation. Next item is of course a Dove Bar Soap. I love Dove Bar Soap. This is in the scent Cool Moisture. Perfect for summer, so fresh and clean. I absolutely love these as my base clean. I don't buy any other bar soaps. Love these. Next, went through a CeraVe baby wash, and this you can use as a feminine wash, a face wash, a body wash. You can literally just wash your entire body from head to toe. I love that about these, um, these baby products, because, I mean, it's super simple. You just have that, and you can literally wash your entire body with just one thing. A baby, here's another baby wash product. This is the Dove uh, um, Sensitive Skin Hypoallergenic Wash. Same thing, you can use it from head to toe. It's amazing, I highly recommend this. I would buy it again. I used up a Tease Sugar Fleur Body Scrub from Victoria's Secret. Um, I have the full size perfume of this and I love it. Oh my God, it smells so good. It's like a candied apple, like whipped cream scent super strong this stuff is amazing I'm not like a huge fan of the texture of this it does seem like super grain uh, granular like when you first put it on so you think that it's gonna like do some work and exfoliate which I love um, but it like disintegrates once the water hits it so that sucks but um, it kind of foams so it's kind of like a soap and a scrub in one um, definitely wash yourself before using this or however you want to do it. I would not consider this a soap, but it does suds up like that. So that experience is nice and it smells amazing. It's super strong. It definitely stays on your skin. I love this scent. Highly recommend. Next is another curly hair product for my girls. This one is the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Deep Conditioning Curl Mask. Um, I actually probably will keep buying not this specific product, but this line. Um, there's two other products I mentioned in my last video and that I have in this video, but this specific product I did not love. It was very underwhelming. I don't really think it did anything amazing that a regular conditioner could not do, so I will not purchase this again. Um, it is pretty fairly priced, but I mean, I can get a cheaper conditioner that does the same thing. So in that same line, we have the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Curl Cream, the defining cream. I love this stuff. My uh, six-year-old has really tight, coily, curly hair, and all we do is we spray it down in the morning, like, you know, when we're doing a refresh. We'll spray it down and get it wet, and then I add this, and it's pretty thick, so you have to make sure the hair is soaking wet. I think I mentioned this in my last video. Um, and then you put a little bit of this on it, and then you top it with the gel from this line. I think I have one in here, actually. Yes, I do. This is a smaller version, but the, this stuff, this combo is literally amazing. My daughter's curls look bomb, like all day. They even look amazing, like the next morning when she wakes up. Um, I don't know, it just brings them back to life. And this gel isn't really sticky at all. It just, it's like has a lot of slip, so it just brings the curl like back to life. I love these. I will keep buying these as long as I keep making them. Next, I went through a CeraVe hydrating cream to foam cleanser for your face. This is my new favorite face wash. Um, I love it. It takes off all your makeup. It's not drying. Um, it's literally like the most perfect face wash I've ever used and it's affordable. You can buy it anywhere. Um, so I do have some other face washes to use up, but I'm definitely gonna be purchasing this. This is probably gonna be my forever face wash as long as I keep making it. Um, I just have to use up the other ones first. I have a shampoo and conditioner combo. This is the Fructi Slick and Shine shampoo and conditioner. I really like these. Um, I, my hair goes through like weird dry phases and like 
greasy phases depending on the season. I really like this when my hair is dry and has like a ton of flyaways because it really does smooth it down and it looks really nice and it smells good so I would buy this again. Next I have a Dove conditioner. This one is the Intensive Repair. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a shampoo in these empties too in one of the other bags but this one is really nice. Um, I actually bought this again because my hair is really fine but this is like the perfect amount of moisture like it gives your hair life without making it greasy or heavy and it smells really good it's really strong so if you don't like a lot of fragrance in your shampoo which i don't know who wouldn't like i want my hair to smell good this has a really 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 strong fragrance that lasts like days honestly so it's great i have another conditioner this is the suave tropical coconut nourishing conditioner um very underwhelming was not a fan of this uh, it's cheap, but I wouldn't buy it again because it was nothing. I like I felt like it did nothing for my kids' hair. I use it for my daughter's, um, but it didn't really do anything. It wasn't. It didn't like help to tangle. I didn't really feel like it made their hair moisturize. So I'm not gonna buy this again. Next up, we have the Clarins Double Serum that I went through, and I actually have a smaller bottle in here. Also, I'm not gonna show you both, but I did go through two of these. The big one and the small one and I'm actually halfway through another small one that's how much I use this stuff um, it's a oil serum hybrid type of serum and I love it it just moisturizes your skin it leaves a nice like glow to your skin under your makeup it plays well with other products it is kind of spendy but if you wait until um, Ulta has their 21 days of beauty they usually have this 50% off during that time or if you buy stuff from the Clarence website, you get rewards and you can get like $15 off. So I'm probably always going to use this. It's amazing. Next, I went through a body mist. I cannot believe, like, I never go through body mists and perfumes. And I have like a few in this empty. So that's exciting. One is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush Cherosa 40. And this one has notes of black, amber, plum, and vanilla woods. And it really has like a heavy vanilla scent. I, I can't really describe it. I have the body cream, I have the body wash of this. This is probably my favorite Sol de Janeiro scent. Besides the original, like it's really hard for me to pick because this one is so feminine and girly and I feel like you could wear it all year. I do feel like the original Boom Boom cream is the same in that department. Like it's sexy and you could wear it all year, but they just give different vibes. Like this is giving more feminine and cute and like flirty and like date vibes and the other one um the boom boom cream just gives like super sexy beachy like i don't know like beach goddess vibes they're both amazing i love this i already bought another one so um i will always have this it smells amazing next i went through one of these giant jars of nivea cream this stuff is so thick and amazing and it smells kind of like baby powder and medicine which for some reason, I really like that. Um, uh, a lot of people think it smells like a grandma, but I'm just getting like Vicks and baby powder. It's very comforting. <laughs> Something about the childhood smell or I don't know, but this stuff is really thick. This jar will last you forever, like forever. I use this at night. Um, I put it on my feet and it literally softens everything. You can put it anywhere, like any of your dry spots. I've even used it on my face. It comes in a smaller one, which I also went through. This is the same stuff in like a little tin for travel. And this thing is like a dollar. I think it's like 99 cents. Perfect for travel because they will last you probably your whole trip. Um, a little goes a long way. So this stuff is amazing. I already have a backup of this. Next, I have a suave conditioner. And this is actually the one that I always have in my videos. That's like one of our rider dies for my daughters. Um, they changed the packaging though. So it used to be the white uh, the white packaging. Um, and I think it was just like coconut something. I can't remember, but now it's called lush and coily natural shea butter and pure coconut oil moisturizing conditioner. Um, I still love this. They did change the formula a little bit. I can tell because it kind of leaves like a frothy, like foam in the bath when I'm washing my daughter's hair, but it still does the exact same thing to their hair. So I love it and I will keep buying it. I mean, it's suave, so it's only like five bucks. Um, definitely love for hand soap this is another suave product the coconut water hand soap I absolutely love this scent I wish they had like a body spray or a shower gel in this I mean these are like not even a dollar so definitely would buy again 
love the scent. It's probably my favorite hand wash from Suave. I went through an Olay body wash, the, the Olay moisture ribbons, and this is the Peony Blossom one. Um, this one just smells like pink. <laughs> it literally smells like pink, and the, I mean, the, um, the body wash was pink with like swirls of light pink in it, but it just smells like sweet, kind of floral, very girly, uh, love this, I would buy it again. So we went through another Not Your Mother's product from the Curl Talk line, and this is the, just the leave-in conditioner with the little spray. Um, this was also kind of underwhelming. I don't remember loving it. I think we have better leave-ins. It's just too light um, for their hair, so I didn't love it. You can get something cheaper that does the same thing. Next, I went through a Carousel intensive foot repair and this stuff is amazing it has urea in it if you watch dr Dre on youtube drea the dermatologist um she recommended this and i used it and it's amazing like you won't even need like a pumice for your feet if you just put this on every single night your feet will be baby soft it doesn't matter how jacked up they are this stuff is like magic um so i already have another one i love it it's perfect for summer especially because you're wearing sandals all the time so definitely check this out so we have another hand soap and this one is a the bath and body works foaming hand soap in the scent crisp morning air i repurchase this all the time this one <clears throat> oh, it smells so good this is fresh pine juniper and juicy pear and it's kind of like a good all gear round scent because it it's giving like fresh and morning obviously it's in the name but it also kind of had like that pine gives it like winter vibes also so you could literally get away with using anything from this line all year round next i went through uh this toothpaste which is the crest 3d white glamour white um i actually really like this stuff i didn't think i would for some reason uh whitening toothpaste always like didn't feel like it cleaned my teeth enough or it just kind of like tasted weird but they changed it and this is like it leaves you feeling fresh and clean I love it um, I would definitely buy this again next I went through a probiotic this is the renew life women's care probiotic um, I use tons of different ones I just make sure I'm always taking one keeps everything in balance prevents UTIs um, it helps with like any stomach problems or digestive problems you might have to take because it kind of balances out like everything inside so definitely recommend this brand I didn't have any issues with it next I went through a Clinique moisture surge sleeping mask and this one I did cut up because obviously I'm gonna get every last freaking drop um, they did I mean everything went up but this used to be like $38 and now I think it's like 42 45 dollars um, but it says it's a sleeping mask I use it as a daily moisturizer I love it it literally looks beautiful under makeup it gives you like a slightly dewy finish not too greasy or um, oily looking uh, I love it I love it more than the other um, moisturizers in the moisture surge line this one just really like quenches your skin I love it I already have another one this is probably gonna be my new daily um, regular moisturizer that I wear under makeup um, or just whenever because the it cosmetics one changed their formula this one I love next we have another hand soap this is the suave pink grapefruit this one smells really good super sweet and fruity would buy again here's that shampoo to the dove from earlier super fragrant perfect amount of moisture love already bought again another conditioner this is the Cantu avocado conditioner um, I bought this for my girls with their curls and um, it was good but not amazing I was not blown away so I Probably not gonna buy it again next we have another foaming hand soap from Bath and Body Works and this one is the mango papaya paradise um, this one smells so good I love I love papaya notes in almost anything it's just it's like it's almost like a fresh fruity feminine vibe yeah I love a papaya note in almost anything but this one smells really good I would totally buy again it's super juicy and fruity and very summery next we have another curly hair product. This is the old packaging of the Suave that I showed you earlier, um, but this is the Curl Defining Cream, the Suave Shea Butter and Pure Coconut Oil. I love this stuff. Um, I add it after the leave-in conditioner and it just really, like this line is amazing, like I say in every single video. I know you guys are sick of hearing it, but it's cheap 
and it's amazing. So I'm always gonna buy this. I can use it on both my kids. I mean, you can use it on several different hair textures, different curl patterns. She never lets me down. I went through a couple of bar soaps, Dove. This one is the unscented sensitive skin, and then this one is the antibacterial. Um, the sensitive skin one has no fragrance. The antibacterial one smells fresh and clean. Um, I absolutely love the sensitive one because just like the other baby washes, you can use it from head to toe. You can literally wash your face. You can use it as a feminine wash. You can wash your entire freaking body from head to toe. And this is great for travel also. Like if you're bringing a carry-on and you don't want to bring those extra liquids or you don't have room for extra liquids, just bring this. You could use it for everything. You can wash your face with it, your entire body. So I definitely will be buying this again. I went through a native deodorant. This one is in the scent Sweet Peach Nectar. This is so good. I was not expecting this to smell so good. It's super, super sweet and like fresh smelling. Um, I definitely, went, I know summer is gonna be over soon. Like we're already talking about back to school, but this one I feel like I could wear all year. It's so good. I love it. I really love the cucumber um, mint one the most, but this one I think is pretty close to how much I love that one. Next, I went through a Dennis Gross Deep Dewy Cream. Um, this is my new favorite skincare brand. Um, I love this stuff. I definitely notice a difference when I use its peels or they, um, I have a serum that I use, the Firming Brightening Serum. With this, I notice a difference literally right away. It brings your skin to life. It gives you youth. It gives you like a glow. Um, this stuff is kind of pricey, so I usually wait for a sale when I buy it, but I love it so much. I can't believe how fast I notice a difference when I use this. So I probably will never live without this. I usually rotate my stuff, you know, like I'll use this for a couple days and then I'll use a different one for a couple days and I only have like a certain few that I do that with. Different moisturizers do different things, so I like to kind of give my skin a little bit of all of that. Um, so I definitely will always keep buying this. It's that good. I went through an Escada perfume and I honestly don't know how to say this one. Fiesta. Cariosa. I don't know. This one smells really good. This was from like, I want to say like five years ago. You know how they always come out with a summer one? And this one was one of their better ones. It has like floral, fruity, fresh, and a little bit of spice. Um, my daughter actually bought this and she went through like this much of it and then gave it to me because she got sick of it, but I love it. Yeah, it's literally gone. Um, I don't think you can buy it again, so I mean, it doesn't matter, but it smells really good. Definitely Escada summer perfumes are always good. They kind of like body sprays, but I mean, they smell good. I have yet another hand soap. This is another gel formula and this is the pineapple mango. Delicious, love, would buy again. I have another bar soap that I used up. This one is the Dove Restoring Coconut and Cocoa Butter. Um, this is my first time trying this one. And honestly, it smells almost exactly like their Shea, what is it, the Shea Butter and Vanilla one? I don't remember what it's called. They kind of smell exactly the same. They're both very moisturizing. I love this one, but I'd probably stick with the other one because I liked it more. Um, but this one's still good. Next, I went through a little mini of the Tatcha Dewy Cream, and I got this from Sephora. I actually got two of them. Um, this has a very strong lavender scent, so if you don't like fragrance in your skincare, I do not recommend this. Um, that kind of turned me off right away. I mean, I don't mind fragrance in my stuff, but the smell was like really strong. Anyway, the cream is amazing. I love it. I just would not pay that much money for it because I feel like other creams that are cheaper can do the same exact thing. Although I've heard that like after you've used this for a long time, it actually does like wonders for your texture. I have no idea. I'm not trying to find out. That's like 90 something dollars for a full size of this. So um, I'll stick with my Dennis Gross. Speaking of Dennis Gross, here is the serum that I went through. And this is the, what is it? The Firm and Brightening Vitamin C Serum. This stuff, I had it in another video and it literally smells like barbecue hot dogs. Like it stinks so bad. <laughs> You smell like barbecue little smokies. Um, the smell goes away. Your skin looks amazing. It's totally worth walking around smelling like a hot dog. Nobody else can smell you and, you, and it eventually fades. 
Um, but this stuff is so good. It literally tightens and firms and gives your skin like this amazing glow. All right, next I went through these two masks. Uh, this is the Himalayan Charcoal Purifying Glow Mask, and the other one is the British Rose Fresh Plumping Mask. Both are from The Body Shop. Um, I got these both at Ulta. Um, this one is supposed to be a dupe for the Glam Glow Youth Mud, which I used to freaking love that stuff, but now I don't really love like running abrasive stuff on my skin. But I wouldn't say I wouldn't say this is exact dupe for that. Um, I found the other like the Glam Glow one much more um, exfoliating. But it is a nice alternative if you don't want to spend the money. And then this one was nice. I mean, it gave you like that nice cooling like gel face mask sensation. But I don't really notice a difference in my skin. So I'm not going to buy these again. Next, I went through another hand soap. And this is like old school, regular soft, regular soft soap, soothing aloe vera. This one smells so good. And it's literally like the cheapest hand, hand soap you can buy besides Suave. This is like my OG like from back in the day I used to buy this all the time I think when I first moved out I always bought soft soap and I love it I love the way it smells it doesn't dry your hands out it's great totally gonna buy it again through a biosense uh, squalene and vitamin C dark spot serum um, this was really nice I love the consistency I like the way it sat on my skin but I didn't notice a difference so I will not buy it again especially for the price so I have a makeup empty and this is a mascara this one is the Lancome Idole. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> the Lash, uh, what is it? That's all it's called. I don't know, guys. But this brush, okay, there's probably like little mini, like stray lashes on here, but this brush is everything. Like, look at that, how it like, I mean, I know you can get like a curled wand, but the, there's like a freaking lash just like I got on here. Um, anyway, I love how this is shaped. Um, it literally, like it does, it like lifts your lashes while you're using it. And I love that you can like flip it and go like this if you want. And then this, having it this um, direction for your bottom lashes is perfect and I, I got this as a sample from Ulta, I think, and I definitely bought the full size. I actually just went through, or I'm almost through with the tube of it. Um, but I love it because the formula is great. It's kind of volumizing and lengthening, and it holds your lashes in place. It kind of reminds me of the um, Benefit Their Real mascara, but this brush is like my favorite thing ever. So I love it. I'm obsessed. I already bought it again are the last body care items I have before we go into the home fragrance but this um but this I went through a gingham love body cream and it was full size but I cut it I freaking love this scent so much I think they're discontinuing it I don't know I think I heard that they're discontinuing it this one pairs so well with the new Kate Spade Cherie perfume oh my god whenever I wear this with that no matter where I go, somebody's like, oh my God, something smells good. And it's this, it's this and that perfume. So definitely check that combo out because it's amazing. Um, the Cherie perfume is um, kind of like a fresh floral, very, very sweet, just like this. Um, perfect for spring and summer. So check that out, try the combo, you'll love it. Another Bath and Body Works body cream that I cut up. This is Poppy and I adore this scent. A very girly sweet um, springy floral and I have the perfume in this too I think I have every literally every body care item that you could have for this and I love it um, I think I heard they're discontinuing this one also if they haven't already which makes me so sad and I'm so glad I have backups of it um, I know that they always bring stuff back so and I don't know if it's even true maybe they're not discontinuing it but I heard that so I don't know this one's really good Next, I have another Bath & Body Works body cream, the scent Sweet Pea. This is a classic. I adore this scent. It's very light. I remember back in the day, it used to be really strong. Um, I don't know, it's just a clean, girly, um, sweet scent. I love it. 
I don't know if I'm going to buy it again anytime soon because I feel like this has gotten so much lighter than it used to be. The body mist is way too light. Like, you can't even smell it. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, it smells amazing. I actually really, really love um, when they used to have the wallflowers for these. I loved them. Sweet Peas a Classic. I feel like everyone knows what it smells like. Next is the last body care item, and this is a makeup empty, and this literally rubbed off. But this stuff is the Tarte CC Under Eye Corrector that you can't really see what it says. It's like gone. But this is the old formula. They, they went and changed the formula again, you guys. And the packaging. I don't know why they gotta fix something that is not broken, but this is what it, it's one of those like pots that you use your finger and then you just like dot it under your eyes. I love this stuff. I've been using it for years. This is probably like the fifth one I bought and they changed the formula. And the new formula, I used it today and it's not as emollient feeling. So it's not as thick. It's definitely thinner and it kind of has that like dimethicone feeling, like that um, pore feeling primer, pore, <laughs> the pore filling primer feel, um, kind of. I don't like that at all. So I don't know, I'm gonna keep trying it and maybe, uh, Maybe I'll like it. I don't know. I have this bag of home fragrance items that we're going to go through and then we're done. I really need to stop waiting so long to film these videos. So the first thing we have is a candle from Bath and Body Works and this one is Sweet Red Mango. You guys, this one is so freaking strong and it's so good. It's like sweet and spicy and it smells like candy and juice. And it projects like this thing is a beast I'll light it in one room in my house and the entire house smells um it's so good I bought it last year too this is the this year's packaging and I love it and I will always buy it as long as I keep making it because she's strong this is another Bath and Body Works candle this one is the blueberry cotton candy this one is another beast super strong it smells like like a very tart blueberry sweet tart blueberry very strong this one was so strong that when my oldest daughter walked in the door one time she was like there's something burning in here that is just too much like she couldn't handle it because it was so so strong so if you like your candles to project this is this one's really good i mean it literally just smells like like exactly what it is blueberry cotton candy or like blueberry candy the next candle i went through is poppy and I said I love everything from this line, but that's a lie. I did not love this candle. It smells good when you smell it on cold, but when you light it, it just smells weird. It's like plasticky, chemically weird. It doesn't smell, I don't know, it's not really strong. It actually reminds me of, I used to have these candles when I was younger. Um, remember that perfume, the Curve perfume, like from back in the day? And I remember my aunt bought me um, candles for Christmas and it kind of smells exactly like that. Like it reminds me of that. So I appreciated it for like the nostalgia and the memories because it literally made me think of like seventh grade Christmas. But definitely not worth buying again. I did not love it. The packaging though is to die for. Like everything poppy is so pretty. Oh my God, I love it so much. It's like the perfect colors too. Okay, the next candle is Island Papaya. This is also Bath and Body Works. This one was another downer. It smells amazing on cold sniff. Oh my God, it smells so good. I love papaya, but when you like this, it smells weird. It doesn't project. It's not strong. It almost smells like some weird combination of fruit and chemicals and like perfume. I don't know. It's weird. I won't buy it again. I probably would buy the hand soap. If they ever came out with that, if they, I mean, they probably have, but it smells good. So I'm sure like the other Id items that you don't have to burn smell amazing, like maybe a wallflower I would buy, but the candle is not good. These are all of my Febreze items. And you guys, I know I said in one of my videos that like, I did not like them. They smell like chemicals. It smells weird. Some of their stuff smells so good though. And that she's strong. Okay. Like that is going to smell up your entire house from one plug. Um, but some of them are just still not good, but these ones I'll show you. Okay. I already talked about passion papaya, uh, again, papaya. Like, I don't know why I'm so obsessed with papaya this year, but oh my God, this one is my freaking favorite. And I wish I would have bought like 
every single one that they had in the store because it's a limited edition. They probably won't come out with it again until next summer. But this one is like literally my perfect dream scent. It smells like papaya. It does not smell like chemicals. It's like fresh and, oh, and fruity and not like overly fruity. It's like that fresh, fruity, perfect house scent. Um, I have it. This is one of those. Where's this smells? Where's my phone? I have it in the plugins. Um, I used them all up though. I'm so sad. But the plugins are so, so strong. Um, and then this, these little small spaces thing, which is what this container is. Um, these are amazing. I put these in my car. I just put one in there. And the whole car smells amazing for like months. So definitely check out the small spaces things from Febreze. They don't have this scent, but they have a lot of other good ones. The next scent I got in the Febreze plugin was this berry and bramble. And this one, you guys, I freaking hated it. It's not good. I know my friend had it in her house and it smelled good in her house. But for some reason, this one is like nauseating. It's like too, it's like a sour berry. I don't know. I don't like it. And I threw it out. I literally, every single one that I've ever plugged in, I take it out and I throw it out because I'm like, it, I don't like it. I don't know why I keep trying to like it. I should have just returned them. But I mean, anyways, one of the oils like dumped out in the garbage and I walked into the laundry room and I was like, oh my God, what is that awful smell? It was this. Like, I freaking hate it. So I don't know. This was another um, summer fragrance. So I will not be buying this one again. The next one I have learned to love this one. It smells less chemically to me now. I don't know if it's just because I love how strong it is. This one is Linen and Sky. And this one just smells like clean, fresh laundry. Like, it smells so good. Um, and the, the thing that I love about Febreze is that they're super, super strong. Like, you put it in the plug and it literally will smell up like a whole floor of your house. So you gotta kinda be careful. Like, don't put them in small areas. You can turn them up or down, which is nice. So I've had to turn this one down in our living room because it's like, it was like overpowering, but it's, it's so good. Like they calm down after like a few days. So it's like the perfect amount after a few days, but I definitely love this one. Thank God this one's all year. Cause I, I mean, who doesn't love a clean laundry scent in your house? Okay, next I went through some wallflowers. I went through several packages of this specific fragrance. This one is pink pineapple sunrise. This is probably my all-time favorite Bath & Body Works summer scent. It's juicy. It's sweet. It's perfect. The wallflower is perfect. I am so sad because I only have one left. Um, I know summer's ending, but uh, I'm going to stock up on these next year. It's super strong. It's the, literally the perfect one. The next wallflower pack I went through is Among the Clouds. And this one, again, is also a beast. Super berry, super fruity and sweet. I love it. It does kind of get a little weird at the end. Like I know some wallflowers turn weird at the end. They kind of get like a weird, almost like a burning smell or chemical smell. And this one does turn weird at the end, but it's worth it to just like have it burning or whatever plugged in um, when it's good because it's so strong and it smells so good. Then I went through pineapple mango wallflower. I think I bought like three packs of these. These ones are so good. They're in both of my girls' rooms. Literally exactly what it says, pineapple mango. It's perfect, sweet, fruity, doesn't smell weird, doesn't go weird. This one I will buy again for sure. I went through market peach wallflowers. This one is also really, really good. I feel like their summer wallflowers are really good. Like the fruity ones, they do really good. It's when the winter comes, it stuff starts getting weird. Like when they try to do a bakery note in a wallflower, it usually, it's not good, usually. Um, and that's my opinion. Like they just start going weird or like it just, it smells off or something. Um, this one's really good. I love peach, so I would definitely buy this one again. And speaking of peach, I didn't notice this was in there. This is a Febreze Small Spaces in this scent peach. This one <laughs> is weird. So it smells good like after it calms down, but like when you first put this up or like even the plug-in, I think I had a plug-in for this too. I don't know why I don't have it in here, but um, anytime I have this, like I put one of these in my daughter's closet and she was like, why does it smell like nail polish in here? Every single time I put one in the laundry room, she was like, why does it smell like nail polish? So it, and it does, it smells, that's how chemical this one is. So I would not buy this one again. It does calm down to smell like nice, but you gotta wait a while and it straight up smells like chemicals. So I don't know what they did with that one. Okay, next I have some wax melts and this one is sensational 
brand from Walmart and it's Coral Shores. And you guys, I don't even remember what this smells like, so let me just take a sniff. Ooh, that one's good. Oh, that's perfect. It's like a fresh, fruity, like clean laundry scent almost, like all mixed together to perfection. Um, I would totally buy that again. I remember when I put it in the wax smell and it, or when I put it in the wax warmer and it did smell really good. Of the Better Homes and Gardens from Walmart, this one is Warm Spring Sunshine. This one smells really good when you, oh God, it smells so good when you smell it in the container. It's almost like a fruity, like fresh perfume kind of. But oh God, these things are weak as hell. Like I put them in, I think I put them in every wax warmer we have in our house and the smell was gone in like 20 minutes. So it's kind of a waste of money. It smells really good when you smell it out of the package, but the smell goes away way too soon. We have, this is like my favorite one from Walmart. This is the Mainstays Papaya Passion. You guys, I don't know why I'm so obsessed with papaya, but it smells damn good. This one is my favorite. It kind of smells like fruity bubble gum. Papaya fruity bubble gum. I don't know how else to describe it. This is perfection. I bought like, these are only like 90 something cents and I bought like 15 of them because I know that they're gonna stop having them soon. So since I'm out of my favorite papaya Febreze plugin, I've been using these and oh my God, they're so good. They almost kind of smell similar a little bit, but um, this probably is my favorite summer one from Walmart. Last item I have, you guys, is another wax melt. This is a Lumisense. This is also from Walmart, um, Sugar Lemon. You guys, this smells amazing. If you like lemon, this one is perfect. Oh my God, it's perfect. And I think I had this in one of my other videos and it smells like um, the old school vanilla lemon from Bath and Body Works. Or remember there's summer vanillas and they had like vanilla coconut, not the new vanilla coconut because that one's not good, I don't think, but the old ones like vanilla coconut, um, strawberry vanilla, uh, lemon vanilla, and then coconut vanilla. I don't know if I said coconut already. Anyways, that's exactly what this smells like. So good. And I don't think they have this anymore at Walmart. Maybe they'll bring it back next year. So good. Highly recommend. And that's it. Oh my God, you guys, we are finally done. That is everything I have since the last time I filmed an empties video. Oh, I really need to stop waiting so long to film these because this stuff is just like a disaster. I cannot wait to throw it away. Um, but that is everything I had. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And we'll see you next time. Bye.